and welcome to Karbala. I'm not allowed into the shrine um, without an abaya. How do you put it on? This is your hand. Uh, oh. ah. I got it. Hey, look, look. How do I look? I tell you, you look good. This place is just so impressive. Wow, this is amazing. Look at this, the chandeliers, the beautiful blue tiles. So that was an incredible experience. Good evening and welcome to Karbala, the holiest of holy cities here in Iraq and one of the most important for Shia Muslims all over the world. From Babylon we took round about, I would say, a two hour drive. This is what you need, a little pit stop in the town of Hilla. We have a falafel wrap type thing, falafel in the bread, in the traditional Iraqi bread, um, in a very, a very popular kebab shop. Um, Shops. Perfect pit stop on the way to Karbala. For a couple more checkpoints. We are currently at the checkpoint for Karbala and this is actually where I will have to cover my hair for the foreseeable as we spend our time in the holy city. I didn't know that you'd actually have to put it on as soon as you pass or enter the checkpoint. Um, I also have to buy an abaya and be fully covered for when we go into the shrine. That we just we just seem to fly through them with our friends from Al Rafidain and particularly Z. Z seems to know every single soldier, they're all his best mates, so we're just like they're just like go, go, go. I don't know who he is, but he's a bit of a celebrity in Iraq. But we have made it to the holy city and we've just checked into our hotel in the city center and for forty dollars a night, I'm pretty impressed. This place is ridiculous. I didn't think we'd get this for $40 in Iraq. I wasn't expecting this at all in Karbala. So I'll give you a real quick room tour. It's actually really, really big. We have our huge bed um, and I love the decor. It's so bright and colorful, huge um, wardrobe. We have a heater. It is cold in Iraq, but for us at night- I'm sweating already. I would not be keeping the heater on. We have our TV, fridge with lots of waters and a big bathroom and shower. And actually whilst we're in Karbala, um, walking around the city and leaving the hotel, my head has to be covered at all times. And to visit the shrines, um, I think, is it both of us or is it just me? Just you. I have to buy an abaya, which is actually the traditional dress. So that's gonna be our task for this evening and then we can visit the shrines. You look good. Thank you, it I like suits this one, you. it's sparkly. I just wanted to add here in Iraq, um, as a couple, you can actually share a room if you're unmarried. They will sometimes ask you if you're married, but you don't need to prove it with your certificate. Shukran. Thank you, my friend. Cheers. We were actually heading on our way out when we were offered some tea. So for $40 a night, you get a very big room and free Iraqi tea. Hang on. The hospitality. Oh my gosh. Did you get it, that? It is so, so hot to hold it all the way up here. I don't understand. Did you get it? To hold it. Get what? Hospitality. It went right over my head because I was contemplating how to drink a very hot tea. Look at this. We're chilling out with our tea and this is the lobby. 40 US dollars a night. The tea is actually very good. It's good? Is it good? I'm not allowed into the shrine um, without an abaya, so the guy is actually. Let me found see the me size. Okay. The size is good. It's yeah. good? Yes. Good, this good. Is good. I think it's good. We thought you'd be able to go near yeah, it, but we can't even enter the down. security How do you check. Put it on? This is your hand. You were in it. Give me the give me the luggage. Okay. I like the colour, Molly. Yes. Right hand. Okay, wait, one second. Right. You're stuck. I'm stuck. Right hand. Yeah. No, no, this. That's that's for your face. She's not good at getting dressed, Z. And this? This is. Face, 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 face. Oh, I got it. Hey, good, good. How do I look? I tell you, you look good. <laughs> you look ready. I'm ready. 
That was difficult to get on. I didn't realise my head goes in a hole. Okay, so what just happened was there's a security check to get into the next point of the town. This is where there are soups, there's restaurants. You're not actually that near to the shrine, but for Molly to get in this area, she needed to be wearing the abaya. Um, we actually thought they would only be near the shrine, so we we're going to buy one of the souk. But luckily, there was a guy there. Molly's bought one for five thousand, I think. I'm just waiting for her to come out now. This was definitely a struggle to get into, but men and women go through separate security. So as I went through the lady security, they saw me in my abaya, and they were like, "Oh, you look beautiful!" So now I feel very good and um, appropriately dressed. In uh, in Karbala, especially the Muslim the Muslim people, especially the Shia people, do this celebrate is it from making sad. Is it, is it from uh, uh, all of them is coming? Is it from Baghdad? From Basra? Is far away about about Karbala, 500 kilometers, 600 kilometers. Go walk, go walk. Stay in, in the way. Two weeks, three weeks. Sometimes some places is one month. So Z was just explaining to us the pilgrimage that takes place each year, Arabine, where 25 to 30 million Shia Muslims gather. They come here, they gather, and some of them walk hundreds of miles. And on the way, all the food, all the drink, everything is out for free. Some people have to camp because it takes them three weeks to complete the pilgrimage. I love how outside love the mosques and shrines. They seem to have like sooks and markets. I mean, I don't know if there's anything that we actually need to buy right now, but you can get anything. You know we're going to end everything. up getting something. We'll end up getting something, I'm sure, but you can get everything here. <laughs> Once you walk through the suits, they'll eventually lead you to the walkway between the two most prominent mosques and shrines here in Karbala, hence why it's the holy city. Behind me is the Imam Hussein shrine, um, and I can't tell you, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but they are absolutely stunning. Behind Matt is the um, Al Abbas. I think I'm saying it right, mosque also shrine. They're both completely different, but within the same space with each other, and apparently the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, both the grandsons of Prophet Muhammad are inside here in their graves. It is a very surreal moment to be here for everyone, because uh, this is really holy for everybody, and it's, uh, it's great for us to be able to enjoy it. This place is just so impressive. It's like something I have never seen before. You have the marble flooring in between both shrines and it's so important because the Imam actually lost his life in the Battle of Karbala in I believe around the 6th century over 1000 years ago and that is why so many people come here on the pilgrimage and it is it really is a privilege to be able to come here and take this all in. We actually have found out that along the walkway there are lots of places for people to lay down and sit down and that's actually because you can spend the night here so you can get free food and water in from inside the mosque um, and you can actually spend the night grab a blanket and sleep here. Lots of people who maybe don't aren't so fortunate to have a home or should you wish to stay here because it's an amazing place to be able to sleep you can literally just grab a blanket and sleep. Before we go into the Imam Hussein shrine, we're going to have to put this camera away and hopefully we can bring our phones in. I, I know you sort of can, but I don't know how much we're going to be able to film inside. Leaving the camera with the legend. <laughs> Here we go, time to go in the Imam Hussein shrine. Wow, this is amazing. We both just went through our separate security and this is my first look actually. I can't believe it. All of the it's so colors, grand. the beautiful colours, it's so sparkly. Um wow, I'm I don't have any words. Look at this, the chandeliers, the beautiful blue tiles. It is spectacular. <laughs> The minute you walk in, you enter the large room that everybody comes to pray. There's kind of like, even though it's noisy, there's kind of like a really nice piece to it. Uh, men and women are separated for their prayer, but so I just this can't might be get where over we say it. goodbye. This might be where we say goodbye, but I just can't get over the uh, the detailing, the tiles. There's, there must be thousands and thousands of different coloured tiles in here.
This is very surreal being in here, being able to take this all in. Z is actually behind me now, praying Molly has to go to the other side and then we can go through and then to the grave. Um, wow, I've never seen anything like this before. Just look at how impressive this place is. This is actually real 24 karat gold and these chandeliers, beautiful. This is the place uh, where Imam Hussain was killed by the force of Yazid, by Umre Saad, and by Malawn Bin uh, Shimr. He was killed there, that point, Imam Hussain al -Islam. Can you zoom inside? The red light is a symbol of uh, the blood of Imam Hussain, so that's the reason. So that was an incredible experience. We actually met a guy from Pakistan, his name is Meram, who showed Matt around. He was my very um, own tour guide. He was his very own tour guide, and I think he's actually going to help us around the other mosque in the same vicinity, but um, I don't know, I have no words for it, you know, it's a very unique experience to be, get to be able to be in there while everybody is uh, so emotional as well. So we're now walking to Imam Abbas's shrine, who was actually also killed at the same time and again it's equally as poignant equally as beautiful walking along here getting to take it all in you're learning really when i'm walking here i'm trying to explain what's going on but i'm learning at the same time shukran oh, everybody is so kind we now have little milk please. oh man you have ah. <laughs> Shukran! So this is our new friend Meron and his family <laughs> and he's basically been taking over from Z and filming us. They're just the best. The best. Zindabad, Pakistan. Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you must visit with us. Uh, with, uh, go to, we will go to northern area of Pakistan. It's mountain. We'll go yes, everywhere. We'll go everywhere. Very much beautiful oh. and the food of Pakistan is delicious. We cannot you, wait. Uh, yeah, inshallah. Actually, you, when you come there, you try the food of this country. Yes. yes. Of course. It's tasteless. Ah, oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Z, don't <Yeah>. listen. <laughs> Actually, uh, we Pakistani people uh, Spicy. eat... Spicy. Spicy. Very much. I'm yeah. excited. And, yeah. We're excited. But these people eat very sweet dish. Oh, oh. Uh, you like <laughs> this? My friend, no, no, shukran. Wow, it's uh, it's incredible, my friend. Yeah. Look at this; it's just as grand as the first like shrine. This, this way, and wood and stone work. You can see where everyone is praying, and then this in again in the middle. Twenty-four karat gold. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it must be expensive. Very much. You can see all around here these blue mosaics and again it's very similar to that that you'd find um, at the main gate to enter Babylon. Wow. I'm pretty lost for words walking around here. Like I said, the blue tiles that you'd find in Babylon and then you make your way through and you have the golden, golden gate, 24 karat gold. Look at the sky. Wow, Moran, what, what a guy. He made that place for me. He told me things. He showed me where I could film and where I couldn't film. It's very difficult to film in there. You're not allowed to film much at all, but I managed to get, get some of it. It feels, I don't know. It's very, like I said, very surreal to have been able to, to experience this place. Masalama, who was this? He's telling me, do I know what Joanna means? It basically means that you're hungry. Ah, Joanna, we're very hungry. We need to eat now. <laughs> it's really interesting to see all the people that have travelled from all over the world. So you can tell by the way they wear different clothing, different affairs, the men dress differently. You have people from Afghanistan, uh, Mehran obviously from Pakistan, and I even saw some 
people from Iran. Um, it's just really interesting to see people travel so far to come here. It's so important and we were very lucky to see it as well. What a difference a five minute walk makes. We have now walked to what I think is the main high street here in Karbala, full of shopping malls, restaurants, lounges, and we are on the hunt for somewhere to have our dinner. I'm absolutely starving. When people think of Iraq, they normally think of the negatives that you see on the media, but it really is just normal life. Like, this street is better than most streets we have near us. It's better than Hounslow. It definitely is. I feel like this could be us, eat and go. It looks like the Iraqi version of Subway. Very busy, that's always a good sign. I think we've ordered way too much food. These two are sharing <laughs> a small little salad and some dips, and I have got a shawarma, so a beef shawarma. We also got a falafel sandwich, and we have a pizza on the go. This shawarma looks so good. It's cut into like tiny little slices, and I think we've got sour cream, guacamole. It's like a modern shawarma. I can't believe that this whole sandwich was 2,000. 2,000 Iraqi dinar is like... One English pound? One English pound. It's crazy. And a fancy modern place as well. We are now have our huge pizza. We definitely overordered. We got too much food. Please eat some pizza. Are you, will you eat some pizza? <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't like pizza. They don't want pizza. Ready to go. Good shawarma. <laughs> Good afternoon from Najaf. Hello. You from Najaf? Najaf. Najaf. Shukran Habibi. You need tea? Need tea. Yeah. Z loves tea. Z is the expert. Okay. How's that? We're dressing you in the abaya. <laughs> she look and good, my fringe. <laughs> Do I look good? These are very famous sweets here in Najaf. And this is how you leave the souk, you leave the shrine in style. 